This is the Egyptian section. Gather around. And here we see the gold scarab ring worn by the great pharaohs as a symbol of their awesome power. So boring. It's not that bad. How about those uh, topless Cro-Magnon women in the anthropology way? Yeah, they're awesome. Great. Oh, you guys have seen them? No. And here, in this sarcophagus, are the actual mummified remains of Voodlemar the Lesser, a.k.a. King Bud. Voodlemar was known as the Bachelor King. He died in frustration, never having found a queen. Does anybody know what the mummification process entails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ran a metal hook up through the nose and scrambled the brain like an egg. And then they hung the body upside down and, and the goo just kind of dripped out like a gray matter smoothie. Thank you. We're moving now to uh, the indigenous cultures display. Please note that the ice blocks in the Inuit display are not edible. I'm talking to you, Tim and Travis. Are you still barfing? Thought you got it all out on the bus ride over here. No, 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 I, I'm, I'm reading. I don't get many opportunities to use my dead language skills. You, you can actually read this stuff? Well, I'm more of a dabbler. Tourist phrases and whatnot. man cap. Hardly barley, ha. Thicky, thicky, die, die. Little bird, little bird. Ha, 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 daddy. Ha, ha, what does that mean? I, I think it means, um, <clears throat> he who reads this disturbs the eternal slumber of a king. Will that or can you direct me to the nearest discotheque? Want to go find some girls? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Shadow of the pyramids. Oh, what is up, Slick? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to a sock hop or something? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm uh, experimenting with photo friendly coughs for senior picture day. But that's not till next Friday. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking any chances after last year's disaster. <laughs> I don't know. I I was sure Mr. T was due for a comeback. Oh, wow. What a dork. You know, sis, is it too much to ask for just a spoonful of love and support for my own flesh and blood? A, gross. And B, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about him. Oh, you are Stacy Hansen? Uh, yeah. Uh, who are you? I am Bud, Buddy Lamar. I've waited centuries for you. 
You shall worship and obey me as your master. But there are also perks. Yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Freak. You cannot walk away from a king. You will all tremble at my power, or you will feel my devastating wrath. Oh, just for the record, you're a dork too. Uh, Thanks. who is that dude? All right, all right, so maybe I was overreacting. But that dude in the tracksuit was making me mad. And it wasn't just because of the way he was hitting on Stacy. Well, maybe it was. Don't listen to him, Velma. You keep right on meddling, you little vixen. We interrupt this broadcast for a special report. Mom! Join our reporter. <laughs> Shaggy and Scooby were just about to find out who the carnival phantom really is. Tonight, the town of Pleasantville is crying out, Where's my mummy? The mummified remains of King Boodlemar the Lesser have vanished, along with his dynastic treasures. Police have no leads, but this is one case they'd like to wrap up soon. This is Sally Dawkins live from the Museum of Natural History. We're dead. That mummy was on loan from the government of Egypt. It says right here in the contract that if the mummy is lost, damaged, stolen, or folded, spittled, or mutilated, the city has to pay compensation to Egypt. Well, what happens if Pleasantville can't pay? Oh, no, Biggie. We declare bankruptcy, we get incorporated into Muhlenberg, and your dad goes down into history as the mayor who killed Pleasantville. I can't believe it. Tell me about it. Old Man Wilkes is the carnival phantom? He seems so kindly. Dawkins has had a phenomenal year on the tour. He leads the championship. Now just ten pins shy of a perfect game. Ten pins shy? What, are you having one of your bowling fantasies again? No. Yes. But there's a lot of money on this game, man. Have you seen oh. this? There was a mummy stolen from the museum? It wasn't stolen, Tommy. It rose from the dead and walked out. Ow. Yes. This is just like the 1933 genre-defining classic, The Mummy. Directed by Carl Freund and followed by four disappointing sequels. What happened? Well, you know, Lon Chaney Jr. couldn't quite capture the pathos of the monster like Boris Karloff in the original. In the movie. What happened in the movie? Well, I, I went alone, but there was this really cute girl in front of me and I was just about to offer her some popcorn. 